672 pips was the total amount of pips that we were able to deliver to our members in the premium group on Telegram. Now, just a, a part of being honest with everyone. I wanted to remind you that this is the maximum of pips that we were able to, del to deliver, but some members got only 300 pips, some other members got uh, 600 pips, some other members they got maybe 200 pips. It depends exactly on how each and every member using the signals. Some of them de depending only on tech profit number one, some of them depending on tech profit number three or two, some of them opening multiple op multiple trades for each signal. So each and every trader using our signals have actually gotten a maximum of 672 pips of profit. But of course, the most of the traders have gotten less than that. This is of course part of being honest with everyone and sharing the reality about our signals. And here, my friends, the results that we have shared with our members last Friday, as you can see, check this out, all of the signals full of green, full of profits, and I'm really happy and proud of what Angela has done. Uh, her work is outstanding for sure. And here I'm scrolling without hiding anything at all. Nothing being hidden, nothing at all, my friends. Everything here was displayed in the premium group. I'm showing to you here on YouTube. So if you join the premium group, this is exactly what you will find waiting for you. And as I mentioned before, these two losses we have already recovered long time ago, which have happened uh, last Monday. So of course, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's now begin checking the market. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now regarding the Euro USD, I believe this pair is going to be good for the buy this week. Actually, what we can see right here, first of all, we have a price action of what we can call the morning star. Uh, usually the red candle should be bigger than that. But however, uh, in general, this price action usually indicates a continuation in the bullish momentum. And of course, if we check the daily, the, sorry, the weekly chart as well, we can see clearly the market has created right here a clear pin bar indicates that most likely we are looking for a bullish week for, for sorry uh, for a bullish movement this week for the euro usd so after confirming the direction on the weekly and daily charts let's go back to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time oh, wait a minute let me just fix this one so on the weekly uh, so on the four hour time frame we can clearly see right here that we are having a structure and it seems to me that the euro usd has been able actually to, to break out from the long term of the support sorry of the yeah support level on 61.8 fibonacci retracement and if we check the past it was also a very strong key support level as well now all we have to do is waiting for the market to fall down again and retesting the broken level of the previous resistance right here and afterwards it's going to continue the rise till it reaches the peak of the resistance right here at 1.137 and 36 again we are relying on two things first of all um the weekly candle or the weekly chart we are seeing the pin bar on the weekly candle and of course on the daily chart we are seeing the morning star and of course on the four hour time frame we are seeing the pair has managed to break out from 61.8 now someone might ask me why your entry is not exactly on 61.8 then the answer is simple let's go to the one hour time frame now on the one hour time frame we can see the market has actually made the breakout from that 61.8 fibonacci retracement exactly right here and the market has already created a support number one and we are seeing right here that we are having also a resistance level and the breakout has happened exactly right from that level so we are expecting from the euro from the euro usd to fall all the way right here retesting the broken resistance level and afterwards is going to continue the rise I don't think that the euro USD is going to fall again to, 50, uh, to Fibonacci 61.8. The pair has already made right here the retest on the level. Therefore, I most likely the pair is going to continue the rise after reversing from 1.12826, 1 where exactly we are going to place our buy orders. And therefore, uh, our take profit level will be exactly at the resistance right here, which means we are aiming 90 pips profit from this signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging for 51, 51 pips only. So there goes the signal for the Euro USD. Hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully it's going to bring us lots of profits. Let's now take a look at the Pound USD. Now regarding the Pound USD, uh, we can see here if I switch to the, to the one hour time frame, 
we can see clearly that the pair has been rejected from breaking off from the support level on 1.32783. And if we look carefully also, we can see that we are having right here a, a, a inverted head and shoulders pattern. We are having right here the inverted head and right here the two shoulders indicates that most likely the, the pound USD is going to continue the rise right after retesting that support level right here on 1.33184. Uh, of course, not only that, if we check the daily chart, the daily chart also showing both pressures uh, from the buyers and the sellers. And however, the candle didn't close actually as a full body. But however, we have to keep in mind that we are now right now facing a very strong key support level. That's a strong support zone. And this is the first candle to be right here on the support zone, actually on the second attempt, because this is actually the first attempt of the support. And right here, we are now on the creation of the second attempt. So therefore, most likely, the pound USD won't continue the fall at the moment at all. Most likely, it's going to reverse. And of course, it's going to hit, to reach the peak of the resistance trend line right here, as we can see. Let's move to the smaller time frame. Let's go to the four hour time frame so we can see that. We're having right here a resistance trend line, uh, my friends, and most likely we're expecting from the pair after confirming the direction or sh seeing the inverted head and shoulders that most likely the pair is going to continue the rise till it reaches, first of all, retesting uh, the, the broken support level on 1.33964 and also is going to reach the peak of the resistance trend line right here and complete the patterns before we can see what will going to happen. Of course, because right here, my friends, we're having a channel like that and must like actually you know something it's not like that it's actually more like this yeah that's more convenient so now we can see that the channel has started right from here and this one started from here as well so the channel now is getting more narrow and most likely the reverse has already happened or the reversal has already happened right here from the support zone therefore most likely the pair is going to continue to rise again reach for uh, the the edge of the channel completing the pattern and of course retesting the broken support on 1.33964 which is going to be of course our tech profit level that means um the target will be about 77 pips and meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging for 40 pips only no more there goes your signal for the pound usd hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully it's going to bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the aud usd AUDUSD this week is going to be good for the buy at 0 0.70962 and allow me to explain to you the reason. First of all, the pair has reached way um, an oversell level and most likely we can expect right now a reversal for this week. Remember my friends, I'm actually analyzing on the daily chart. And on the daily chart, we can expect at least three or four candles to be bullish before we can expect to continue shorting the AUDUSD. I want to show you something interesting. If we go to the weekly chart, um, let me just delete, uh, just remove that so it won't confuse anyone. And I have noticed here something very important. Let me just show it to you. Actually, my friends, this is one of the strategies that I'm teaching on my channel, which called the magic of trend lines. Uh, the magic of trend lines is actually a very cool way to find the reversals. Uh, all you need to do is draw your support trend line or resistance trend line on any lower uh, on any on any low to any other low or any high to another high and you will find that no matter how you drag this line you will see that the pair has actually been respecting this level so for example um actually have drawn here this support trend line from this lower low to this higher low then all i did was dragging it now if you drag it somewhere, so if you drag it anywhere, actually, you will notice that the market has respected this level. We can see that the market has respected the support right here and right here. And afterwards, uh, after the bearish breakout candle, that uh, support trend line has become also a resistance trend line. Now, let's do it more. Let's actually drag it here and there. You will see the market respecting this level. Check this out. That resistance trend line right here was also respected right here and the market has reversed. Uh, let me try to find other places just to show you the power of support uh, or the, uh, the power of the magic of trend lines. And of course, as we can see right here, my friends, we can see that this was actually a resistance trend line. And after the bullish breakout candle, it became a support trend line, a support trend line, a support trend line. And then we had the breakout happened. Now, after that breakout happened, what we can expect right now 
for the market is actually to continue the fall uh, till it reaches the support level exactly right here at 0 0.71801 and then i'm sorry uh support at 0 uh, 0 0.70962 and then it's going to retest the broken support trend line and afterwards it's going to continue the fall remember i'm analyzing on the weekly chart therefore uh if i drag this line right here exactly like that and remember again i'm on the weekly candles if i zoom in we can see right here we are having a resistance trend line and here as well remember weekly candles meaning each candle represents a whole week so this candle has its own uh, resistance level right here let me just zoom in right here to a smaller time frame uh, let's go to the daily candles and let's just scroll more to the left and check this out this was actually the resistance trend line and this was the bullish breakout candle and then we can expect right now for the market to continue the fall till it reaches that same line and to create a new support trend line therefore i believe the market is going to be uh, res uh, to, res to respect this level actually and afterwards it's going to reverse for 87 pips and after that we will check what we can do with this pair either to the buy or to the sell oh i deleted the entry by mistake let me just uh, write it again so we can expect to buy the AUD USD at 0 0.70962 and the safe zone will be ranging till the lowest level of the support right here therefore it's going to be ranging for approximately um, 50, pips, uh, 50 pips only meanwhile the target will be 83 pips or 82 pips only till it reaches the broken support level right here just to retest the level so there goes your signal for the AUD USD. Hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully it's going to bring us lots of profits. Let's now take a look at the USD CAD. USD CAD seems to me uh, a very uh, bullish uh, movement this week. Uh, let me just explain to you the reason. First of all, we are having the final breakout happened uh, from the resistance level on 1.27448. Now, let me just go to the four hour time frame to show you this. If we check carefully, my friends, we are having right here a resistance zone. That resistance zone has actually been broken out from. Therefore, we can expect from the market right now, upon the pressure from the resistance on 1.27870, to make another pullback and retest the broken resistance exactly right here, because this is the edge of the resistance zone. I doubt if the pair is going to be able to reach lower than this resistance level. Most likely it's going to re uh, reverse exactly right from there and then it's going to uh, reach 1.28621 at the peak of the resistance. Uh, let me show you this. This is the peak of the resistance right here. This is the highest level of the resistance. I don't think the pair is going to be able to reach higher than that level. Most likely we are looking for a, a bullish movement. But however, uh, is going to be facing a very strong uh, resistance zone and breaking out from that level won't be easy at all. Not to mention, of course, that we're having right here a support trend line. And I believe in the power of the support trend lines, my friends, and of course, the resistance trend lines as well. So right here, we're having the support trend line. Uh, if we look at the market carefully, we can see that we had here one, two, three, four, five, six attempts of the support trend line so this level was strong however as a resistance trend line it became only one and very small attempt so two, a total of two small attempts as a resistance trend line which has been followed immediately with the strong bullish candle therefore most likely the usd cat is going to make another pullback right here and then it's gonna retest or revisit the same level of the support trend line and afterwards it's going to make another pullback and reaches the peak of the resistance at 1.28621 therefore we can expect to make approximately uh, 115 pips profit from this signal meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging for about 55 pips only because actually if the pair managed to break out from that support trend line then most likely it means it means that this, the pair can't respect this level of the support trend line and is going to continue the fall. Therefore, the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for higher than that. So there goes the signal for the USD CAD. Hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully everyone will make good profits out of it. Let's take a look at the USD JPY. 
which for some reason I'm not so lucky with. Uh, for the third week in a row, actually, my analysis for the USDJPY doesn't work. And I think uh, there is a reason why they call it the crazy pair. It's called the crazy pair, my friends. And indeed, it is crazy. But for myself, I think the, the CAD is the craziest one of them all. Anyway, regarding USDJPY, uh, if we look at the daily candles, we can see that it's very, very strong uh, bearish movement happened. Uh, on last Friday, the market has actually fallen for about... 228 pips uh, only in one day. Uh, the USDJPY has actually lost a lot of strength and I believe that's um, gonna cause the pair to continue the fall for this week as well. Right now, and again, since I am a person who believe in the power of trend lines, we're having right here a resistance trend line as well, my friends. And we can see that the market has created right here a bearish breakout candle. And we can see that there is one candle right here, which has already respected that level of the resistance trend line. Therefore, I believe strongly and the USDJPY is going to be good for the short right away. There should be mentioned now. I forgot to write now. However, it is actually sell right now at 113.241. Um, seeing that the pair actually respecting that resistance trend line and also retesting the broken support level at 113.241, most likely the pair is gonna continue the fall right away. Supported by this very strong bearish movement. And I don't think at all that the USDJPY has any chance to make any bullish reversal at the moment. So, I think that's everything for the USDJPY, nothing else required to be said. So, uh, I hope it's going to be uh, a very good signal and hopefully everyone, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the tech profit level. The tech profit level will be actually my friends right here for about 112 pips when the pair falls all the way, uh, retesting the broken resistance right here at 112.88. So. That's everything for the USDJPY. Hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully it's going to bring us lots of profits. USDCHF. Let's now take a look at this pair and let's see what we can expect from it. Actually, it's very quite simple. Uh, very similar to the USDJPY, we can see that the pair has made a very strong bearish movement last Friday. And we are seeing here as well the resistance trend line. And therefore, we can expect from the pair to rise for another 20 bips, resp uh, retesting the broken support level right here at 0 0.92523. And afterwards, it's going to continue the fall for another 65 pips only. I know it's not much of pips, but however, this is what the setup is providing for us. So we have to stick for it, uh, to stick with it, sorry. And the safe zone will be ranging, um, on the other hand, for 34 pips only. It's not requiring anything more higher than, higher than that because we are depending on that support trend line and we are actually selling on the retest. I think that's everything can be said for the USDCHF. And of course, the target will be here, here my friends, at, at the nearest support to our entry. So hopefully this is going to be a very good signal and hopefully everyone will make good profits out of it. Let's now take a look at the gold. The gold actually has worked perfectly well last week and I really have no idea why no one said anything about it because the pair has reversed exactly from 1809 and went all the way to the tech profit level at 1782 made about 300 pips of profit. I hope you guys have taken the signal and hopefully everyone have made a very good profit out of it. So anyway, what's next with the uh, gold? Let me tell you something. The gold most likely is going to continue the bearish movement for this week. Right now we are below 1,708, oh sorry, 1,808, 1,800. And right now we are on 1,790. Therefore, if we check the, week, the one hour time frame, the one hour time frame has a very interesting uh, structure right now. We're having here a, a strong resistance level and we're having right here the breakout from that level of the resistance, this strong bearish breakout candle. And by the way, this bearish breakout candle usually indicates a continuation in the, in the bearish reversal or in the fall. Therefore, uh, we can expect from the market to rise again for, an, for about, I think 50 pips or less than that. I think 44 pips maybe. Yeah, exactly. For, I have a good memory. 44 pips. And after that, it's going to continue the fall. 
and I think it's gonna exceed the 1780 level. Uh, let me just show you something here. Let's go to the four hour time frame. Now, on the four hour time frame, this bearish movement was quite strong. The pair has actually fallen for 354 pips in just one single day. And if we look carefully at the left, we're seeing that the market has actually created right here what seems like a, uh, a strong resistance zone. That zone has never been broken out from. And we already have right here two attempts at 1809 and the pair has fallen way below 1800. Now we are having right here a resistance trend line and therefore we can expect from the pair to make another uh, pullback. Maybe it can, it can go a little bit higher just to reach the peak of the resistance trend line and afterwards it's going to continue the fall uh, starting from 1793. Therefore, I believe it's going to be a safe option to start shorting exactly at 1795.34 and the target, my friends, will be the nearest support to our entry at 222 pips on 1772.38. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging for only 1000, sorry, 144 pips. I don't think that the gold has any chance to break out from that strong resistance zone. Most likely the pair is going to actually uh, fall exactly right from that level of the resistance trend line. And after that is going to fall all the way to the take profit level. Um, sorry guys, again, I have problems speaking for a long time. I don't know what's happening. Um, this Corona thing is really uh, has ruined my life. Uh, I'm not the same as before. And uh, just sharing with you something. Uh, it has been four months uh, since I was infected with the COVID and till today, I only can taste 60 or 50% of the food. Um, I'm not enjoying the food as before. Um, I cannot taste as before. I don't know. Guys, please be careful. Uh, this COVID thing is a serious thing. It can stick with you forever. Um, not forever. I would say for a long time. You can get uh, healed easily within just two weeks. But however, um, the 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 side effects it's gonna stick with you for quite a long time and trust me it's not as it's not an effect that you wanted to stay with you so anyway i think that's everything for this week hopefully my friends everything will be okay and hopefully everyone will make good profits out with these signals so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching